What's up everyone, Fred Nielsen here. This video is going to be an another app review for you guys. I've not done one in quite a while and I thought why not do one again. So this video is going to be an app on an application called Orbital as you can probably see in the title. Uh, it is a fairly interesting application that I uh, I discovered quite a while back and now I uh, well, just want to share it with you guys. I'm not sure how many people know about it. But I know it's not one of the most popular apps in the App Store, so there's not a huge chance that you might do, or you might know about it. So, let's slide to unlock our device, and we'll slide to see Orbital, right here, on the third page. And uh, basically what Orbital costs is, there's a free version and there's a paying version. The paying version is $3 in the US, and 239 euros um, in Europe, or mostly most of Europe. So let's launch the application. There's intro, you can just skip it. So here is Orbital. Orbital is a very nice very nice game, so it's touch screen. It is fairly strategic and you have to well, you basically have to think a little bit. So there are three playing modes. My favorite one is Supernova, but Gravity and Pure are always nice too. So let's start with playing gravity mode. All right. So in gravity mode, basically you have this tower that goes back and forth, and tap to launch. Okay. So when it goes in, when it stops, it explodes and goes wide up, and bursts up, you know, and um, it gets bigger until it grows until it meets an edge of the uh, playing area, or another one of these balls. So now you have to, uh, that's what she said, now you have to uh, try to hit it until it explodes, as what it did. And the bigger it is, the more gravity it has. That's in the gravity mode. As you can see, that shifts or in a, it had an effect on my launch. Usually it would go straight. Uh, so no need to cover pure mode now, because pure mode is basically this mode except for no gravity. When it explodes, nothing happens, it just dies. And you get a point for each one that explodes. And that's very simple. And when you hit that, you lose. So pure is basically the same thing, except for no gravity. Now my favorite one is Supernova, uh, because you can just easily look, uh, find out where you want to go. And when you release, and it hits, it has a five number. Now it is a little harder. The reason for that is, when it explodes, the other ones around it lose one life too. I hit the, it was a five before, I hit it once, this one was a 5 before, I hit it once, and then the explosion made it come down to a 3. That's basically Supernova, you basically have to explode as many as possible, and you can hit a combo for, I think mine was 4 at the same time, which is pretty decent. So, well, pretty nice, I'd say, because I've never done better. But as far, as far as I know, yeah. Well, whatever. So just try not to die, and it gets pretty hard when there are a lot of these out in the open. You have to try to get uh, get through, try to hit them without them, uh, without your ball jumping back at this line because, well, basically then you lose. So I'm on three with this big one, and when that one dies, all the other ones might two. Boom. Everyone loses a life. I'll hit this one over here. Now that one lost life too. Okay, so that is nine points with a three combo. That's already 13 points. And you can basically get a lot higher numbers with the Supernova mode, although you have to hit them two times more. Basically, Supernova is my favorite one, as it is the most strategic one of them all. So that is basically the single player, the single player mode. You can also see the scores of everyone else online who have, who have an internet connection on their iPad Touch and who have played as well. So, um, I mean, you can compare how many points you've gotten, and there's daily points, or daily board, or whatever. Okay, let's try to hit it once more, and then we leave the game. Go and pause right here, and you can go back to the game or main menu. Now, you can also play multiplayer. Let's just play gravity and multiplayer. Starts off with one of these, you shoot once. And then the other player plays, and that's actually pretty interesting because the other one, you have to try to annoy your opponent without annoying yourself or uh, causing yourself problems and try to cause your opponent problems. Uh, well, yeah, you get it. So it gets pretty hard in the end, of course, 
and uh, your opponent may do something that uh, can change the whole game, and you may do the same for your opponent. So that is pretty much it. Then we can also go over here to have some sounds and all that. I don't really like that. I prefer to be able to play with my music uh, playing. And then here you have period of time, infinity, the last 24 hours. See, 60 points is really good. That's my record. I think it's very good. Now, 2,598 points. That is just incredible. <laughs> So, I mean, um, if I were ever able to do something like that, I would be extremely proud of myself. I would have no longer any reason to live. I've, I would have achieved my goal. You also have a tutorial right here, a help in credits and statistics. So that's pretty much it. Please comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com. If you want to earn money online, go to lotsoffreecash.tk. Become a fan on Facebook. Check out all the links in the description. And... Yeah, have a nice day, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'm sorry this video lasted this long, it wasn't supposed to, but I wanted to cover this in depth. So, once again, thank you very much for watching, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.